Thing. Just after 8am this morning on Kensington Road at Kensington, there's been a collision between a truck and two 16-year-old students. Um, it's occurred at pedestrian lights. Early indications um, are that a, a truck who was delivering goods was involved with a collision with these two students, uh, both 16 years of age. The boy has, both have been taken to the Royal Adelaide Hospital for their injuries. There is a boy who is in a critical condition and a 16 year old girl who is in a, a serious condition. The driver of the truck is assisting police with their inquiries in relation to this crash. At the moment, that's 36 lives lost in South, on South Australian roads. This is the third um, accident involved, or collision involving pedestrians and two with cyclists. That's one fatal um, collision that's occurring every two days this year. We were at 16 the same time last year. These are completely preventable incidents. It takes a split second in, in decision making and this is where we end up. Police are absolutely um, astounded where we are at this time of the year. It is a tragedy to everybody um, who witnessed this this morning and my heart goes out to the families of these children and the school that they're from. Part of the is investigation, it? is it that whether the driver ran a red light and the students were crossing pedestrian light, would that be forming part of the investigation where speed or inattention is a factor? Uh, yes, yeah, so early um, stages of the investigation at the moment um, and there are numerous witness statements to be obtained but yes, it looks like the students were crossing at the pedestrian crossing uh, and the truck may have gone through a red light. You, you, you say that these incidents can be preventable. We are seeing so many fatalities where uh, it just must frustrate you that people are quite literally being idiots on the road. It, it's, it's beyond frustration. This is an absolute tragedy and I really wonder when it's going to stop. All of these things are preventable. People, it's a split second decision and people need to be um, not distracted. They need to be driving safely on our roads, otherwise this is the outcome. Especially, how concerning is it, especially if someone's driving and not doing the right thing outside of a school? Like, how concerning is that? It's, it's extremely concerning. Every, every incident on our road where a person um, has lost their lives is concerning. Um, but we have you know, these road safety measures in place, our messaging is out there, um, and here we are today, we've got two 16-year-old children in hospital, one with critical injuries. And where to now for police in terms of getting this message out about the carnage that's happening on our road? Yeah, the messaging has been, been out there by police. What we need is for our communities to be talking about this. We need for everybody to take heed of the messaging, uh, not drive like idiots on our roads, and everyone, whether you're a cyclist, a pedestrian, or a, a motor vehicle driver, you need to be paying attention. No more distraction. Is it likely that this driver will face charges later today? If, if, that, if he did go through a red light, you said he may have gone through a red light, but are charges likely? Well, major crash are here at the scene, as you have seen, and uh, they are investigating, so we'll see what happens. And do we know if the two are related at all? I don't know that, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, uh, the school is, um, is dealing with the, the other students um, who witnessed this and the whole school community. It's obviously very distressing for them, and my heart goes out to the, the school community as well as the families of these children. Did anyone rush to the, the, the two students' aid like before, you, uh, before officers arrived? Were there any um, you know, Good Samaritans that, that came up and tried to render assistance before you guys arrived? Uh, there, there was a lot happening at the scene. There were other um, children at the crossing, as I understand, at the time, um, and other vehicles stopped, yes. Was the road busy at the time as well? So the road city bound was actually quite busy, but um, the truck driver was heading away from the city and the traffic wasn't, as I understand, that busy at the time. And there would have been quite a few children around at the time? Yes, there were other students at the pedestrian crossing at the time. Um, there are some branches that look like they may have covered the red light or whatever colour it was. Is that being investigated that that could have caused the driver to not see the light? 
So major crash, of course, do that as part of their investigation. As you would have seen, I've, I've walked the scene this morning and you can see that there are some branches there, absolutely, but uh, clearly visible are three of the four lights. Um, and with one, uh, depending on, you know, I wasn't sitting in the, the driver's seat of the truck, but uh, there is no reason why that light should not have been seen by that driver. Whether, you're, whether this driver was on, on, on his phone or, what, or whatever he is doing, to drivers that are not focusing on the road, you, you see it in traffic lights, people look down at their phone just for a split second and clean someone up. What's your message to, to, to their, rec to their what's your message to their reckless behaviour? Yeah. It's astounding that police uh, are still coming to collisions where distraction um, is a key. So you would have noticed that the, um, we're trialling those cameras at the moment in relation to mobile phone use. Um, what a shame that we have to be doing that uh, because people are still not doing the right thing with mobile phones. That said, I have no indication whatsoever from today's collision here at Kensington that that was a factor. Is it likely an intention? I don't know, it's too early to say. Uh, we've been in contact with the school and we understand the school is speaking to those students and, and the rest of the student body. You know, it would minds, be very upsetting. Their brain's still developing. It must be so hard for other 16 year olds to see something so tragic on, on, on the road whether these two students might or, or, or not. It's still, it will still stick with them for the, for the rest of probably for the rest of their lives. Absolutely, there are certain things that um, I'm, I'm guessing will never leave a person's mind and seeing something as horrendous as that this morning would, would certainly be one of those things, which is why I implore every road user, whether you're a pedestrian, a cyclist or a, a driver of a vehicle, you need to be doing the right thing and you need to be paying attention all the time. And I believe you've got an update on yeah, so there was a um, collision in the southeast yesterday and sadly a man from Victoria uh, died in that two car collision. This morning, just after 6.30 this morning, there was a, another um, a cyclist um, who is now in a critical condition in the Flinders Medical Centre as a result of coming off his bike. Thank you. Thanks guys. Thank you for that.